In 2021, Mississippi had the highest rate of firearm deaths while Massachusetts had the lowest. The number of people dying from firearm-related incidents has been increasing since 2000. In particular, deaths increased by 45.5% between 2012 and 2021, with a spike between 2019 and 2021. The CDC data divides firearm deaths into these five categories. Suicide, homicide, unintentional, lethal intervention slash operations of war, and undetermined. Most firearm deaths in a given year are suicide. 2021's 26,328 firearm-related suicides accounted for 54% of all firearm deaths for that year. This is not a new trend. Suicides have accounted for the largest portion of firearm deaths since at least 1981. Firearm deaths also vary by age, gender, race, and location. The highest number of firearm deaths occur in the 20 to 34 year age group, a trend that has been sustained for decades. Between 2012 and 2021, firearm fatalities rose by 90% for Black or African Americans. In 2021, six times more men than women died in firearm related incidents. 41,866 versus 6,964. In terms of location, population doesn't tell the whole story. Death rates per 100,000 people don't necessarily correlate with population. The states with the highest firearm death rates in 2021 were in the South and Southwest. Mississippi had 33.9 firearm deaths per 100,000 people, Louisiana had 29.1, and New Mexico had 27.8. The lowest rates were in Massachusetts, 3.4, Hawaii, 4.8, and New Jersey, 5.2. Learn more in the link in bio and follow for just the facts.